okay so previously in wall flex wall and uh, in q tree we accessed nfs we saw to access nfs and we also saw how to access cfs server now in this video we are we will check how to access iskz so in order to enable iskz configuration i'll go here i will go and in try to enable the iskz configuration so it is enabled but it cannot communicate because there is no interface and i was testing out there is a problem with this uh, on tap gui is that we can't create the uh, uh create the leaf and in the same subnet if we go with this option it will create the leaf in the uh, default uh, subnet default broadcast domain so i can't proceed until unless um, because i create the separate ip subnet for the company abc simultaneously i create the broadcast abc so i want to create the leaf in the abc segment so how to do this we have to achieve by cli only there's only one option using cli so we'll create the leaf in this interface create create so x y z and i want to create leaf in c1 cluster 1 for my xyz v, v server and it will be used for iskz purpose and this role is for data and uh, it will what data will be used protocol it will be iskz and then the home node will be my this i'm creating for my node one and then service policy basically service policy is a kind of firewall on the interface so i'm going to use the default one what has been already configured then i'll use the subnet which we have created uh, we create the subnet of 12 and in previous so broadcast domain is abc and that's all so it, this is how we will create the interface iskz interface this is my iskz interface and it has lease out the ips from the subnet what we have configured so three we have uh, already used the three ip out of 12 so i'm just going to create the another another I, I schedule interface i am going to create and this one is going to be for the cluster 2 see another ip has been consumed and what ip has been delegated so 
we've got another ice configured for cluster 2 let's go to ui and i it seems like uh, on netapp need to make some changes in the ui because we can't able to make these changes in the graphical interface i was trying to do but it was keep on getting failed okay since the interfaces has been created and uh, iSKZ protocol has been enabled on the v server we can initiate creating, uh, creating on, let me verify this one it got yeah it has configured so now on server i'll uh, i'll get the iSKZ number so using manage you can install this iSKZ initiator software from iSKZ initiator software i will get my iqn number of the server this is the iqn number of the server which will be used it, it, it this one is the initiator and this iqn number is a target so communication is going to happen between these two okay so i'll create a one learn i'm going to create learn for xyz as for for abc company this is zero one learn i'm going to create one one learn of one gb of windows and let me get the more options this is the initiator more options we can make in a value tier okay we are going to create the host initiator group ig or jump host now i will add the value okay that's all now i have created this will run in the back run and it will create a one uh run for us let's review the configuration this is a thin LUN which has been created LUN name is abc01 okay fine so i'm going to make a session between this initiator and target so i'm going to discover my target discover and the ip which has been delegated to this for iskz i am having this ip 72 okay so we'll go and target tab it is showing me inactive as of now so i'll try to connect it enable multipath soft as well okay and now you will notice it has been connected and the ice kz number the iqn number of the target has been listed over here 
the IQN number we can validate the VS.16 so it is this one is VS.16 likewise we can discover another we can add another IP once I have added 72 this one is 73 enable multipathing software since this has been done it ha my in its client has been discovering my ICKZ information over here now I can go in my computer management and try to find out the LUN which I have created computer management I will go check in for my disk I created 1 GB of disk and here it is this is 1 GB of disk which has been discovered and I will create one disk for a formatted and utilize so I'm using a dad space going to assign the letter E and it is going to be NTFS format that's all so here is my E letter drive and I will explore add some content in this okay and I am successfully I am able to save it so th this Q drive of 1 G E drive of 1 GB is the IceKZ learn and this is how we present the IceKZ disk to the client okay so we covered CFS, NFS and ISKZ. Next we are going to cover the S3 protocol. Thank you.